Akwa Ibom State Governor Udo Mimano has directed that a panel of inquiry be set up to investigate the cause of the collapse of a four-story building that was under construction at Iman Street off Aka Road, Uyo, on Saturday. The Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Mr. Ini Emenembong, made this known in a statement made available to newsmen today in Uyo. According to Emenembong, the governor commiserated with the families of the victims of the building collapse and also ordered that the state government should take over the management of the survivors. When it happened, of course, we mobilized all that we could. The police was here. The all security agencies, they came here to secure this site and then start looking for if there was a dead person there. That's what we'll do. We cannot go further than this unless we find those who are directly involved. For example, who owns the house, number one. Number two, who supervised the building. Number three, where did, did was the building, did the building get a government plan? We will check. When we get the names, we now check. We check whether it had got a plan. From uh, available records, we got to know that uh, back a four story building under construction collapsed on a bungalow. And what we needed to do first was to coordinate our stakeholders to ensure that we save lives. And that operation has been ongoing since yesterday. Fortunately, some lives have been recovered. One dead, two dead bodies we have on record. So what we want to ascertain now is to get to the bottom of this building to ensure that there is no person dead or alive that is remaining. That's what the excavator is doing. It is only when that is done that we will show that our rescue operation is completed. Otherwise, we must continue to dig deep to the ground floor to ensure that no person dead or alive is still under the Shop owners count their losses. The roof was on top of my shop. Everything fell down flat. I'm not able to remove anything. I've not removed anything from my shop. All my machine has gone. All my clothes, customers' clothes. But I thank God for that because at the beginning it was, uh, it was no weekend. I have more than 15 apprentices. I wouldn't have been able to remove all of them, but I thank God for life. At least I am alive. I, mean, I left my shop. It was not even up to 10 minutes when this thing happened. My boy was here yesterday evening. So after he finished cooking indomie, his brother came back. He told his brother to eat the indomie, let him go and collect his uh, phone from his friend. Let him go and collect his phone from his friend. So immediately he left. After 15 minutes, he heard that the building collapsed and the brother is inside. It was yesterday night they removed the brother and the young man is dead. I came to find out that some of the ions he used to build was very tiny for an upstairs. Y8 and Y10, those are very tiny ions. Even the cement, there was no cement and blocks. Even when we were touching it, it was just scattering like a sand. There was no cement in it. There was no, there was no good work. So the engineer should, they should look for the engineer. The engineer should, be, should come out and tell us why he should use those uh, equipment to build a hotel on a small space like this. Not even up to 200 square meters. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.